G'day guys, War of Oz here with you for another quick look toy review and today we have the brand new Marvel Legends figure Ravager Thor from the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder movie and he looks really good so I'm really, as you've probably seen the trailer for the new movie looks like he's got his sort of Guardians of the Gal Galaxy sort of look the Ravager look and you've got Stormbreaker and also a builder figure which is Korg and according to the back this is his left arm but so this is the standard sort of Marvel Legends packaging uh, you've got the Thor logo which is pretty cool it's got the cracked me on here which looks nice let's crack along to the side and a really nice shot of Thor in his Ravager outfit. Crows into the back. Once again, Thor in action as the Ravager. So, and then as we move down, we have a look at the whole line. So you've got the Builder figure Korg over here. And this comes with his left arm, which is piece four. But a quick look at all the figures in the line. You've got Thor in his sort of, his very bright and colorful armor. Very comics inspired. You've got Mighty Thor, which is Jane Foster, Gore the God Butcher, uh, King Valkyrie, Ravager Thor, Star-Lord, and an angry looking little Groot. So I wonder if he's still sort of in his teens, but uh, anyway, that gives you a quick look at the box art. And for those of you who want to see the legalese down there, let's rip him open. Here is Ravager Thor, free of his cardboard and plastic prison. So you can see he doesn't come with a lot. Um, he comes with uh, Korg's left, left arm. Got some really good detail on it though. Like I like these braces here. Um, obviously there's no movement with the hands. Interesting that he's got uh, just the four fingers. And there's where you plug him in. Oh no, bro! I seem to have lost the rest of my body. Oh no! I better get Thor to help me out. So anyway, that's him. That's my really bad Korg impression, uh, which is Taika Waititi. Hope I said that correctly. Uh, let's have a quick look at Stormbreaker. So the paint apps looks really nice. Loving the silver. Looks really good. Nice shiny, and of course, Groot's arm. Really nice. Stormbreaker's cool. I don't know, being a Thor fan since I was a kid, um, I'm still a fan of Mjolnir. But that's, Stormbreaker is very, very cool though. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look at this face sculpt. And it looks really nice. The paint app's really good. They've done a really good job. And the, the hair, they've uh, got a bit of wash through it. So it gives it that sort of dirty look. But it gives it real texture. You can even see the ponytail in the back there. And this is cool, you can't really see too much, but a bit of detail on the back, which if you've seen the trailer, that sort of bit there sort of sparkles out. And of course they've got this motif, which kind of reminds me of, uh, I'm going to say it badly, but Yggdrasil, the world tree from um, the Asgardian and the Norse mythology. And moving down, so it just looks like he's wearing a pair of jeans really. But he has a really cool comic-inspired look, I think. Actually reminds me a little bit of Eric Masterson's Thunderstrike. So, from the comics. That's the vibe that I got, which I thought was really cool. But looking at the, um, sort of the articulation, I mean, you can see on the side he's got the double, um, double joint there. You've got the, um, wrist movement there, which we'll also get... You can also turn it and twist it 360. There's a really good ab crunch in here, which it's, like it's hard to do it one-handed, but you can see it gets a really good sort of movement through there. There's also movement at the waist, like you can go all the way around. Uh, you've got the cut at the thigh, you've got the double jointed knees, and you've got movement at the ankles as well, which is a bit of rock and tilt to the side. So overall, a fantastic looking figure. Um, it's another great line. 
And for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you know I'm a massive Thor fan. So I had to pick him up. I probably won't pick up the whole line, so Korg is going to miss out on his whole body. But, um, yeah, I'm just picking up. I'm just going to pick a couple. Probably will get the other Thor. I might get Jane, uh, Mighty Thor, and perhaps Gore, depending how I feel with the movie. If I think Gore's a really cool villain, I might pick him up. But I might just do a quick comparison with a couple of figures and show you what he looks like with next to them on the shelf. So for a bit of a comparison, this shows you the Thor Ragnarok figure over here, which again looked really, really good. I actually picked up the whole line for that movie. Uh, and then Thunderstrike here on the right. And it's interesting to see the difference, like the cartoon sort of elements uh, of Thunderstrike compared to the uh, realistic kind of look. So the Marvel Legend comic sort of aesthetic compared to the MCU figures. It's interesting to see, uh, like the color differentiation and the, uh, the facial different looks. So yeah, that's very interesting, I thought, when you put them side by side like this. But let's move these guys out. And we will bring in a couple of other guys of different sort of figure lines. So we've got Shredder from NECA. So you can see the height difference there. Uh, Thor's a little bit taller. And you've got uh, Motu Classics, Master of the Universe Classics uh, He-Man, which is still one of the best action figure lines I've ever seen. To be fair and last but not least let's bring in another hasbro figure so this is the mandalorian uh, which is from the black series so it's interesting to see because uh, hasbro has done a pretty good job of kind of scaling their star wars and um, marvel legends all those sort of figures in that six inch line and it's just interesting to see the height difference between a character like mando and thor so Thor's a good head taller than him. So I thought that was quite interesting to show. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, please let me know if you've enjoyed this uh, this quick review. Are you guys going to be picking up any of the um, Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder figures? Are you guys excited for the movie? I must admit I am. I'm very excited. Um, a little bit concerned, but, you know, I was the same for Ragnarok. When I saw Ragnarok for the first time, uh, I prob I didn't actually like it very much. I thought they jumped too far away from the character of Thor. However, uh, upon second and third viewings, I really enjoyed it. And I, I suppose I understood why they had to sort of take Thor in the direction they did. But anyway, that's a discussion for another time. And anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As per usual, if you like what you see... Check out my other videos, and I've got some mini epics uh, from Labyrinth coming up soon. So I should hopefully be posting those in the next week or so. And a big shout out to David Cannon. Thanks for watching my videos, mate, and uh, hope you're doing well. Cheers, guys. Have a great day.